Abolitionism was very important in Ohio because of the types of people who settled there. There were a lot of anti-slavery people, but they were not necessarily pro-black. But there also were an element of anti-slavery people who were absolutely categorically opposed to inhumane treatment against black people. Abolitionists were people who sought to end the institution of slavery. Many even formed secret networks of safe houses, boat captains, and wagon drivers to help those escaping slavery. Those networks became known as the Underground Railroad. Many Ohioans participated in both the abolitionist and Underground Railroad movement during the early to mid 19th century. Charles Osborne, a resident of Mount Pleasant, Ohio, published The Philanthropist in 1817, the first known anti-slavery newspaper in the United States. Salmon Portland Chase was from Ohio. He used to actually help on the Underground Railroad in Cincinnati. He was an abolitionist attorney, and he went on later to become a governor and then a Supreme Court justice. John P. Parker, we only found about because Duke University found his autobiography. He had been enslaved, was born into slavery in Northern Kentucky, and he worked his way and was able to buy himself his freedom. So he catalogs his activism, and he shows that like Harriet Tubman, he was brazen enough, just like her, of risking his life he had the chutzpah to go into the slave South to rescue black people from slavery. For black people, it was a big risk for them to help with fugitive slaves because the consequence of their doing so was a certain prison sentence, if not also being sold back into slavery. When we think about the anti-slavery movement in 19th century Ohio, there is also one woman whose writings made an enormous impact on public opinion, Harriet Beecher Stowe. When we think about Harriet Beecher Stowe, most of the time people learn about her through a textbook and it's like two little lines. Harriet Beecher Stowe wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin, had an influence on slavery. Boom, that's it. But you're like, who was this person? Harriet Beecher Stowe was a white woman who grew up in New England. So how in the world did she learn the things she needed to know and meet the people that she needed to meet in order to write the most important anti-slavery book ever, Uncle Tom's Cabin? And the short answer to that question really is that she lived here in Ohio, in Cincinnati, for 18 years. Harriet was able to listen to stories from her neighbors here in Walnut Hills who had been formerly enslaved. Harriet Beecher Stowe, here in Cincinnati, Ohio, becomes a friend of the Underground Railroad and a researcher. The book Uncle Tom's Cabin starts on a slave farm in Kentucky, and it really follows two different plot lines. One is the plot line of Eliza, who is protecting her own child from being sold, and that's why she escapes using the Underground Railroad. The other plot line is the story of Uncle Tom, who is getting sold farther and farther south and experiences worse and worse conditions. And so the plot basically takes these two different points, but it really describes both the Underground Railroad and hope, and it describes the despair of what slavery is really like. What it ends up doing is it changes the way people think. Because before reading Uncle Tom's Cabin, most white people in the North were not abolitionists. But after Uncle Tom's Cabin, that's when people really start thinking, I didn't know how bad this was. Changing public opinion is what happens because of the writing of the book. Harriet Beecher Stowe really is kind of the embodiment of what you can do with the power of voice. One person's voice can really make a difference, and one person can make change just by sharing their ideas, 
sharing their thoughts and really pushing for something to change if they don't like the way things are going. The 1802 Constitution that you see in this room today, even though it wasn't perfect, laid a foundation for civil rights that abolitionists could draw from in order to expand those rights to include African Americans.